Hi, I'm Dan Vaida, film and stage actor from Transylvania, Romania, who moved to North America to pursue my acting career. Today, I want to talk about how important it is to like my videos, share them, and even more important, to subscribe to my channel because this is how you're supporting me. And thank you for doing that. And also press the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And in all seriousness, seriousness, in all seriousness today, I want to talk about, and it's not a gossip, comes from a place of concern and caring about a huge mistake that a big Ro Romanian, a big Romanian actor did, and his name is Marcel Jures. So this guy, for those of you who don't know, he was one of the lead actors in a movie with. Uh, Nicole Kidman, I think. It's called Pacemaker. It was another one, or Peacemaker, was another one in, um, another one with Bruce Willis and Colin something. And he, he is, uh, that movie, it's called Heart War. Good movie. So, this guy made a ma huge mistake in his career. And too bad because he has a great look. He has, uh, he's a good actor, has a huge charisma, and he, I think he could have been a huge Hollywood A-list by now. So, he was an accomplished actor in Romania, and at some point, he was touring with one of the th Romanian theaters with a Shakespeare play. They were touring in England, or they were going to a festival, and uh, an agent noticed him, and um, gay, uh, signed him up and all, all that. I think that was in the 90s. And gave him a part in... And he got a part in Interview with a Vampire. Really small part. And then he started getting bigger parts. The, the ones that I, I was talking about. Uh, he was getting that part in uh, Peacemaker. I think George Clooney is in that movie also. Anyways, he was he, he's in Pe Peacemaker. Then he got an even inter more interesting part in Hearts War, which is a pretty good movie. With uh, he plays alongside Bruce Willis and Colin Firth, I think it's his name, some European actor. And um, he he was going up and up and up. And this is his mistake. He refused to move to Hollywood. He preferred to stay in Romania, Bucharest. And don't get me wrong, he's an accomplished actor. He's one of the stars in Romania, but he's not an A-list star. And I think it's because he's remained in Bucharest, which is a lovely, lovely city. And I remember, I, I attended a, a meeting with him and uh, it, it was within a theater festival that happened in my hometown at that time which is Orada, for those who know. So, and it was a theater festival that he was part of, in a way, and it was a meet and greet with at attendees, with the audience, with the public. And somebody asked him if he ever considered moving to Hollywood. And uh, I remember the way he, he, word, he worded his decision, the way he put into words, like, it, it, it was... In my opinion, then and now, it was a very bad decision of him of staying in Bucharest and not moving to Hollywood. But the way he presented it was uh, it sounded so intellectual and so profound and so pol well polished and so sophisticated. So that's very important to to always look for the the facts, not the way they are presented, not the presentation. Uh, to actually look at the core of an idea. And he said something along those lines. Lines. He said, Hollywood, it's a huge waiting room. I'm way happier being in Bucharest and being an active actor and once in a while, because I'm, I have an agent, do something with them, why not? But why would I go, and it's true, at that time he was maybe in his 40s, why would I go to move to Hollywood and uh, with a suitcase and just be there, one of them in that huge waiting room. So, yes, 
the way he presented it is maybe in a way poetic or metaphoric and that can be uh, can uh, capture somebody's attention or can even can convince somebody but the, just because something is beautifully presented doesn't mean it's true so the point is at that point Marcel Juresh was ahead of 90 five percent I would say I don't know the exact percentage but was ahead ahead of a lot of the waiting actors in Hollywood he already had stuff under his belt he wouldn't be waiting in that giant waiting room along with everybody else who's fresh from God knows where in Hollywood with no credits no training no agent no nothing he had an agent already he had a very established Romanian and international career he had connections because he's connected with Tom Cruise Tom Cruise it's I think uh, part of his theater company he has a theater company in Romania and I, uh, and I think Tom Cruise it's uh, one of the honorific founders it has something to do with it so he had the connections the resume the representation that and the look that a lot of actors don't have he he presented a fake problem it i think it was just fear he gave up gave in into his fear and decided not to to go for it and in my opinion that's his huge huge mistake and that's why now he's a very accomplished romanian actor when he could have been a very accomplished and he's an accomplished international actor but he could have been a huge a-list star I don't know or maybe he didn't want to be a huge A-list star but I, I have doubts on that I think he was just afraid because he was a big name in Romania and then why would it, he would go to Hollywood being he thought nobody but he would have been on a short list in, in the in the VIP waiting room not in the general waiting room he would have been on the VIP in the VIP waiting room so that's that's his mistake in my opinion i made this video because i talked to, to a friend of mine who knows him personally and uh, we chit chat a, a little bit on on uh, this topic and i said you know what i'll make a video because i think there's a very valuable lesson and i want to reach this to a lot of people because it's important it's valuable so help me out share like comment ask me questions in the comment section below do not forget to subscribe this is how you're supporting me by subscribing. Thank you. See you next time.